in coming to the Balance View training, what's being offered here is a place to really feel comfortable to be exactly as you are, to feel everything completely, whatever it is in your experience, just to have a place where there's that permission to be as you are is such a, a precious place. It's such a precious opportunity to come, come somewhere where you don't have to be anyone else but who you are. And in the Balance View training, we're simply training up what about us is completely stable, what's completely powerful, alert, and always present. And in Balanced View, we simply just call that open intelligence. An intelligence that's innate to us all, present for us all right here, right now. Maybe we haven't been introduced to open intelligence, that stability that unites us all, that's innate and inherent to us all. And so here we just get a simple introduction to stop thinking for a moment and just to sense what remains when we stop thinking. The presence that's still present when we stop thinking, that we call open intelligence, that grounded stability that we recognize through stopping thinking, that's open intelligence. And that's what we're getting to know here at the Balanced View Training, all the centers across the world that we have. When we participate in trainings, when we meet trainers and a global community. Each of these we call the four mainstays. The trainer, the training, the community, and a simple practice of short moments, of recognizing this intelligence to be the case for us moment to moment. Now, stopping thinking is just a simple introduction. So you are so welcome to start thinking again. Let it all just flood back into our experience. And we can simply recognize through the practice of short moments that whether we're not thinking or whether we are thinking, this stability and alertness is completely present, totally available. And so this simple practice of short moments is just a tool that we use to just tap into that intelligence each and every moment with whatever da data stream that you may be experiencing. Now, we've kept the, the language very simple in balance view. Data, which I just referred to, is just all our thoughts, emotions, all sensations and all experiences. Data streams. And data and open intelligence are inseparable, like the breeze in the air, or like reflections in a mirror, or the color blue in the sky. One and the same. And here we're just given certain tools, specific techniques to just allow ourselves to be as we are. A simple technique is just short moments. So simple. In a short moment, we reset to that intelligence that's at the basis of our experience. And the four mainstays, which is the support network, the empowerment network that's provided here is just present for us in each moment so we can get comfortable with recognizing ourselves as this intelligence where we're no longer giving power and emphasizing our data streams whether they're positive negative or neutral we can simply allow ourselves to be as we are such a radical way to show up in this life because I know in my experience, all I really wanted was to have a great set of positive data and just live my life based on accumulating all the good stuff and pushing away all the <coughs> negative, afflictive stuff. And there was so much of that. There is so much of that. But the game of trying to push away and accumulate is just living life on a hamster wheel because I never saw a direct permanent result from that lifestyle of pushing things away and accumulating things. It was living on a hamster wheel, going nowhere and doing it fast. And here we're just stepping off the hamster wheel. So easy just to step off the hamster wheel and see that we can actually allow ourselves to feel everything fully. 
no data being a sign that something is wrong. What a precious thing to hear on a Saturday morning. That nothing about us needs to change to recognize this stability and ease, this empowerment that is innate to us all. Nothing at all. So for me, going for a walk on the beach just fuels lots of data. It's a feast for the eyes, for the imagination, for the thoughts, the emotions and sensations. Here I am going for a walk and next to me someone's shooting past going for a run. And I wish that I could run. Right now I can't run. So there's this relentless comparison. If I was like that, then maybe I'd be happier. If I look like that, maybe I'd be happier, more content. If I danced like that. <laughs> you know, all this comparison of how other people are and, how, and then reflecting that upon myself and seeing, you know, where do I measure up here? That used to be a very paralyzing way to live. Watching musicians play, that comparison, wow. It just stopped me from really appreciating what I was witnessing. Just because this, this, there is this relentless indulgence, avoidance and replacement of data. These mechanisms that I use to try and just be comfortable with myself. But now just to appreciate myself as I am and see that I have so much to contribute, so much to give. Being perfect as I am, no matter whether I can run or not, dance or not, play music or not, whatever it might be, there is just this ease with myself that I was always craving, but I just never had the tools. And simply here we're introduced to the nature of mind through a simple practice and a set of instructions that just allow us to get comfortable as we are, seeing how great we all are, seeing that no data do we have to be a victim of. The data saying that we're not good enough, like a line drawn in midair, like the flight path of a bird in the sky. When we're really courageous enough to live like that, to really allow ourselves to be as we are, then the greatness of our being just naturally pours out in speech, in qualities, in activities. That's just my direct experience. Tapping into my potential, which was something I had always craved and longed for, thinking I need to study, I need to exercise, I need to effort, I need to force. It's just an old school way of relating with myself. Ultimately, allowing myself to be as I am has given me all the tools, all the instinctive understanding of really how I can contribute how I can be of great benefit. Great benefit being inseparable from complete affliction, complete comparison, complete paralysis. All data are like the dynamic beneficial energy of open intelligence. And that's being recognized more and more, the more that we rely on open intelligence. And short moments is such a, a simple instruction that can be used with, with all data at all moments of the day and upon sleep at night. Each day do we see just equal and even, just through the simple practice of short moments, seeing that there's nothing to hold on to anymore. There's nothing to accumulate or push away or neutralize. We just recognize all to be the beauty and majesty of open intelligence. So sexual desire, to let that be as it is, I mean, what would that mean? What would we do if we just allowed it to be as it is? What happens when we refuse to allow it to be as it is? We indulge the sexual desire, find that partner, find that experience. We can avoid that sexual data, just trying not to think about it, not to feel it, thinking something's wrong. I shouldn't have this. Maybe I'm in a relationship and I'm walking down the beach and I'm seeing all sorts of things, but I'm in a relationship. I shouldn't feel that. I shouldn't think that. 
or we can replace the data with some other data that makes us feel comfortable neutralizing it completely but allowing ourselves to be as we are is really the ultimate way to see the beneficial liveliness of this data stream and that there's nothing about it that needs to change nothing that we need to act on chase after or push away it takes real courage and bravery to really go for that to make that choice to clarify it and when we clarify sexual data it's like everything else can be clarified because such a taboo subject as sexual desire or the wrong data streams when we see the benefit of allowing it to be as it is it gives us the confidence to really allow the money data to be as it is the comparison data all the things that we've pushed away and felt like it's wrong I shouldn't have this thought, emotion or sensation. When we rest for short moments, we see we are so powerful. We never have to be a victim. We stand up for this education in the nature of mind. We claim our birthright. And so the four mainstays, which are a training, a training, a training media, trainings that we have available in open meetings, clarity calls online. We have a one day training today, which is a perfect way to just get to know ourselves, get to know this intelligence. One day trainings and we have four day trainings and congratulations to those that have completed the 12 empowerments or that will complete that today, which is the fundamental training, which really gives us a way to investigate and examine all the data that we've kind of hidden away or suppressed for fear of what we might think of ourselves or anyone else. Here we're just getting real. And the trainings are a great way to really get to know ourselves as this intelligence. And then to have a trainer available upon completing the 12 empowerments is just someone that we can really utilize to empower all data. Someone that's just gone before us. Someone that's just traverse the sticky paths of data and seen incredible breakthroughs their steadfast assurance is something that we can really rely upon and then to have a community that we can meet all over the world now it's just remarkable just to hear other people's experiences to check out their vibe and to see just very directly how people are really getting to know themselves in a really powerful and brave way and just so they, they can share their experience with you too. That's the way I want to relate, through empowerment. Not through data, not through describing, analysing, just through empowerment of allowing myself to be as I am. And seeing that there's just that comfortability with speech now that pours out, that is the speech that has always been something I wanted to access, empowered speech, respectful speech. I was good at sarcastic speech, disempowering speech. But it's completely transformed now. The context of life is the benefit of all. And in short moments, we have access to that benefit of all. Firstly, within ourselves. And then we see naturally that we just want to give back, contribute. This is a life of purpose and fulfillment moment to moment. And when we recognize that within ourselves, when we taste that, we naturally just want to emanate that and share that with others. And that becomes the basis of all relating.